So I've used Dunlop picks for um, about 15 years now, ever since I started playing. Um, I saw Eric Johnson use them back in the day, and I thought, well, if they're good enough for him, then I'm going to have to try using those. So yeah, I've been using uh, these little red beauties for all that time. Never had a reason to change. I've done electric gigs, acoustic gigs, um, jazz, blues, rock, function, you name it, I've done it, and they've always been great. I've never needed to change. Um, and then recent weeks, I suddenly started to think about different approaches to right hand picking, basically down to a few different gigs I've been doing, some more sort of the uh, heavier side of things, and just wondering if there was a pick that would make a difference, you know. So I've done my research, or at least I tried to. Um, I used the Dunlop big stubbies, the big old three millimeter, huge things, um, for a couple of weeks and got used to those and suddenly my playing was a bit different, my tone was a little bit warmer than I was used to and then uh, through a little bit more research um, I kept on hearing all this chatter regarding prime tone. Now prime tone are made by Dunlop as well um, and I was very intrigued to see how one company can do such a variety of picks but they are, you know, there are lots of different companies out there doing it but they are the daddy as far as I'm concerned. Um, so I've just received these things which are five millimeters so that is thick and it's based on the big stubby as far as I can work out uh, but it's a prime tone pick so I've never tried it before um, I thought I would just give uh, my first impressions and a comparison because as much as I tried to find any information about um, prime tone picks uh, I couldn't find a comparison video or uh, really I think a couple of blogs out there about it but nothing solid that would help me in my decision so I just bit the bullet and, and bought some so uh, what you're seeing now is going to be my first time using it and I'm going to compare it try and compare it um, to the Jazz 3 the little red things and the big stubby and hopefully uh, you're going to get an idea of how they sound if indeed they do sound any different um, and you'll get my first reactions so we shall see okay so this is the little red Jazz 3, um, using my 52 Blackguard Telly, uh, going through my Fender Hot Rod Deluxe Limited Edition, um, and it's straight in, a little bit of EQ, actually tell lies a small EQ pedal, but uh, here's what it sounds like. Here we have the big stubby. no means least the prime tone five millimeter let's see what happens
well, okay. So that's the first time I've ever played uh, the Prime Tone. Um, so it's literally about 30 seconds. So first impressions, um, it feels really good in the hand. It's got some cool little grooves. I don't know if you can see that on there, probably not. But it's got some um, sort of diagonal grooves with a big D in the middle and a slight indent, and that feels really comfy. When I'm doing that funky... That's going nowhere. That's staying exactly where I want it to stay. Um, so that's perfect. Um, I was a little bit dubious about having such a big bit of plastic. Five millimeters is huge when you compare it to... Uh, what is the Jazz 3 is, it doesn't say, I think it's a 2mm, that little red one, and I know the big stubby is a 3. It's a huge bit of plastic, but it doesn't affect, it doesn't get in the way. It doesn't seem to get in the way. Um, so what I'll do is uh, I'll play about with it a bit more um, throughout the weeks coming and I'll just let you know how I get on with it, I suppose. Um, I'm very intrigued, but first impressions are it's kind of living up to all the written hype that I've uh, I've uh, read, and I'm very curious uh, to see how long they last, whether they wear at all. Um, we'll just have to wait and see, I suppose. Anyway, guys, um, I hope that's a bit of a help with the comparison. Um, it's not that in depth, I know. If you want any more details about anything I'm doing uh, in terms of gear or uh, approaches or whatever, just give me, give me a, a shout. Come subscribe if you like. I know there's not many videos on the channel now, but I hope to change that pretty soon. So uh, thanks very much for watching and any questions, comments. Thanks very much, guys. Bye.